Hello and welcome to this brief presentation on the NJR Embed service. Embed is an implant price benchmarking service that's now included as part of NJR subscriptions for NHS trusts in England and Wales. So what is Embed? Well it helps trusts and surgeons analyse the mix and the cost of implants used in their local organisation in comparison to national data and to analyse how this picture may be changing over time with an increased focus on the variation in costs of items purchased and used across the NHS from programmes such as GERFT and the Model Hospital, Embed provides a local trust with a view of their data set within a national context. In this presentation I'll talk a little about how to provide pricing data to the NJR, show you some of the outputs and where to find them. Bringing implant pricing into the NJR enables us to analyse implant costs in a clinical context, looking at the types of procedures that they're used in, the combinations of implants that are used, in order to calculate the total implant cost of a procedure. This is important because whilst costs may vary, some of this variation may well be attributable to the clinical context and bringing together the cost and the clinical data gives us a richer picture to inform the analysis. Importing your trust's pricing into the NJR is a very simple process. This is separate to the normal NJR data entry process and it involves a trust submitting implant pricing to the NJR using standard pricing templates. Prices can be loaded and refreshed at any time and more details of this process can be found on the NJR website. Embed provides both a report and an accompanying data pack to each organisation. I'll spend some time walking through the content of this report later in the presentation, but just to highlight that these reports are available to authorised users of the trust through the NJR management feedback system. Surgeons are also able to access the embed report for their trust through the clinician feedback system. Login and the embed reports are available under the implant pricing menu. Surgeons will also find their own personalised data pack here which provides the costs for all implants used in procedures that they have performed. Within the data pack trusts will find an item level comparison for each implant that's used within their organisation showing their price versus the national average price for each item and the national best quartile price. When these costs are aggregated to look at procedure level it provides a picture of the national distribution of procedure level costs of implants. This can be segmented by fixation type here looking at cemented, cementless and hybrid primary hips or segmented by bearing surface here looking at metal on poly versus ceramic on poly and ceramic on ceramic. The same here for primary knees showing both total knees and unicondylar knees. So to look in some more detail as to what each trust receives within the embed report Here's a sample report that a trust can download through the management feedback system. The first thing that the report shows is the completeness of pricing data provided to the NJR. In the case of this example trust, it's pretty good. It shows 98% of all hip procedures and 82% of knee procedures can be costed. So we can have confidence that the prices we see are representative of the trust. Where we have a low percentage here, it will mean that prices have not been provided to the NJR or that the prices provided need to be validated as they've been flagged at the point of loading as being outside of the expected range. The next page just gives a view of the trends in hip procedure types undertaken by this trust. We then break this down further looking at stem and cup and also trends in bearing surface, the story in our example trust being a year-on-year -year reduction in ceramic on ceramic, largely replaced with the use of more ceramic on poly 
um, and we also see a year-on-year -year reduction in the use of metal on metal. We then look at the use of ceramics in this trust in comparison to the national picture. Here we also introduce patient age bands to look at the extent to which trusts vary clinical practice for different patient groups. That theme is carried into this next page where we also introduce implant pricing showing the mean and the median trust prices for implants across different types of procedures and segmented by patients above and below the age of 70. Here procedure level implant costs for the trust are compared to the national average for each of the age bands and an assessment is to given as to what a saving opportunity may be if the trust were to achieve the national average implant cost for each of the patient groups. In the case of our example that being around £59,000 for patients under 70 and £73,000 in the over 70s group. An important point here is that where a trust is reporting costs that are above the national average this may be attributable to paying higher prices for implants, it may be attributable to the types of implants that are being used in the trust or it may well be a mix of those two reasons. This section shows overall trends in the cost of implants used by the trust over the most recent three years again in comparison to the national average. And finally for hips this section shows the range and average implant cost by anonymized surgeon within the trust in addition to also showing the number of cases that each surgeon has performed here shown with the green boxes. Bear in mind that any variation in cost here will be related to the implants that the surgeon chooses to use rather than any variation in implant price as all surgeons within the trust will be subject to the same prices. The knee section of the report is presented in a very similar format and again here provides an assessment of saving opportunity when comparing the trust to the national average. Again it also provides an anonymized surgeon level view as was shown for hips. If you find the reports are not available for your trust or have sections missing, uh, please feel free to contact the NGR to find out why it may well be that your trust has not provided pricing data to the NJR. I do hope you found this useful. Please feel free to contact us for more information or to provide us with any feedback. Thank you very much for listening.